Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we are watching A Quiet Place. Okay, but for real, turn your volume down because I'm not going to whisper for the rest of the video. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here and welcome if you're new. Today, we are diving into A Quiet Place. This movie has definitely been requested a fair amount here. I almost feel bad for doing this one because I think the whole point of it is to really be swept up in the suspense of it being really quiet. I've heard a couple people mention that they saw this movie in theaters and you could hear a pin drop. It was so quiet in the theater. <laughs> So I feel kind of bad that I'm reacting to this one because I'm a talkative person. I am a loud person, as most of y'all know, and I can almost guarantee that this is not going to be a quiet reaction because when I'm scared, I talk a lot to diffuse tension because I'm a little baby and I can't handle being quiet. Sorry if, if you want this to be a quiet place because it might not be. <laughs> I am going to try my best to stay as quiet as I can so that I can try to get a little bit of the experience. However, you know, I do have to make these videos transformative as well. So I can't just sit here quietly watching the movie. Otherwise, uh, I won't fall under copyright fair use either. So I do need to give some commentary, but I'm going to try to be quiet when I can, if I can handle it, if I'm not too scared, because I do think that that's kind of like the point of the movie. And I, I don't want to miss the point completely. I do want to get a little taste of the silence and the fear in the silence. You want to say hi? Yeah. Here he is. Boop. feel a little bit safer when I have him here with me watching these videos. I also know that this video has John Krasinski and Emily Blunt in it, and I believe it's directed by John Krasinski. And I'm a big fan of them. You know, I think they're a really cute couple, and they're both really talented, and I'm excited to see a movie directed by John Krasinski, because I don't think at this point that I've ever seen any of his directorial work, so that should be fun. That may be the only fun part about this movie for me, though. I hate horror, and I hate scary things. I will admit, I'm really happy to see that this movie's only like an hour and a half long, because I don't know how much more I could handle of a scary movie, <laughs> so I feel lucky in that sense. It's funny because I am running this movie on Amazon and it describes the title with like adjectives. <laughs> and for this one, it says the tit this title is bleak, intense, dark, genre, suspense, horror, drama. And it's just like all of these buzzwords that I just hate. <laughs> but this movie has gotten stellar reviews. I mean, they've made at least a second one, potentially even a third I know there's at least a quiet place too because it was on a billboard forever in my neighborhood in LA. <laughs> I think it should be an interesting experience and um, a good one just because this film has done so well and has rave reviews. So, you know, I hate watching scary movies, but if I'm going to watch a scary movie, I at least want to watch one that has good reviews that seems to have been done well. But with all that being said, guys, I think we should just hop on into this movie. I'm really nervous but the sooner I start it the sooner it'll be over <laughs> so if you guys are ready grab a drink grab a snack and let's get into the movie day 89 oh my god oh god look at this deserted town oh so maybe this is apocalyptic oh a lot of missing people that's great why are we barefoot? Oh my God, that makes it so much worse. Oh God, is this little kid running from someone? Oh, maybe we're just playing hide and seek. Maybe maybe that's what's happening. Whoa, this little girl has a hearing implant? Oh my God. Does she have to be like really quiet moving these prescription bottles? It's like everything you have to do has to be so precise because she's moving so precisely with, with those bottles. Oh, is her daughter, maybe her daughter's deaf so they all know sign language. Is there gonna be a lot of sign language in this movie? Oh my god, yeah. That's so cool. Maybe that's why this family has survived. Oh. <gasps> oh my god, little kid. Oh my god, I'm so scared. He's about to make a big noise. He's trying to get the rocket. Why not just ask your sister to get it for you? So any big noise is what causes whatever creature to come. Oh my god. 
Wow, he's so chill. He's so chill about it. <laughs> I'd be freaking out, man. Oh my god, I'm so nervous that like, that one of these people are gonna die in this family. What? 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 What's on him? What's on him? Oh god. Something on him? Is it on him? Is it in the batteries? Oh my god. Why is it so ominous already? Oh, because it was a toy with batteries that would make noise. Man, having a little child in this time is so hard because at least your older kids can kind of understand what's going on but the little kid can't oh they're really lucky that they have a daughter who they needed to learn sign language for so that this whole family can communicate oh is she giving it to him without oh i bet that toy is going to be the downfall of one of their family members i'm like worried that like john krasinski is going to die because the, the reason i think john krasinski is going to die is because the billboard that i've seen for a quiet place too just has emily blunt and two of her kids like i wouldn't be so no Oh, no. No, you can't. No, you can't have the batteries, little kid. I guess none of them have shoes because it's easier to walk quieter when you're barefoot. But like, it freaks me out that none of them have shoes on outside. Oh, my God. I swear if they're walking to a cabin in the woods, I'm going to be sick. Or do they just camp in the woods every night? Because that's also terrifying. Why am I scared the little kid's about to make a noise with the toy? I'm really scared John Krasinski's going to die, too. Ugh. Oh, she, we're hearing it from her perspective now. She's oh, this little kid's totally about to make noise with the toy. <laughs> Oh no, is the little kid and her dad about to die? Oh my god. Are they spiders? Are they like spider creatures? Cause that's, that's so much worse you guys. Cause I hate spiders. <laughs> Oh, that's heartbreaking. Oh my god, that little kid just died. Oh my god, that sister's gotta feel so guilty. Oh my god. Now it's day, f I forgot what it said, day 400 and something, I think. This family really are survivalists. Like, they've survived over a year. And you gotta, you know, I would be screwed in this world, not only because I don't know sign language and I talk really loud. I think I could get used to not talking if my life depended on it, truthfully. But I think I would die just because I spill so often. Like, I'm such a klutz. I drop things literally every day in my house. They can hear you. Oh my God, somebody wrote a newspaper article on them. Blind, attack sound. Oh, they're blind. He's, he's studying them, wow smart. You are on your own. Ha! <laughs> what a wonderful thing to see. Oh my god, they're gonna try to drive quietly? I don't know. I mean, oh, he's pretending. Oh, he's pretending. Oh, oh, my heart is breaking for these kids, man. You know, actually, you know what? I take it back. I would totally, oh, she's pregnant? Oh, no. Oh, no. That's horrible. She's pregnant. Like, that's not horrible normally, but that's horrible in this world because newborns are not quiet. And also giving birth is a really loud, painful experience. Oh, my God. Oh, this just made this so much more terrifying. Oh, my God. I was gonna say, I take it back, I would be killed for talking because, fun fact about me, I talk in my sleep sometimes. I'd be dead so quick. Oh my god. What's the fire for? Oh, are those all the other people out there? Do people light fires at night to like show they're out there? Oh, the music too is so beautiful and sad. <laughs> oh god. I'm already like wanting to cry and we're like five minutes into this movie. <laughs> oh god, this is so sad, they can't talk. <laughs> I mean, they can, they just have to sign. But like when you're eating, you know, it's just such a quiet dinner. Oh my God, they're playing board games, but just really quietly. <laughs> Ugh, Monopoly is such a depressing game too. <laughs> I hate Monopoly. It ruins friendships. Jesus Christ, this man has to do everything. This poor man has to do everything. Why am I so scared that John Krasinski is next? I just can't. Oh, it's totally coming. It's totally coming. It's totally coming. <gasps> Jesus Christ, what kills these things? Like, we need explosives or something. Like, this is, although those are loud and then more would come. John, I'm worried for you too. Stop moving. Oh, it's gonna be right by the window. 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 <laughs> yep. Oh, it's a raccoon. But the raccoons are probably gonna get eaten. Huh? These raccoons are totally gonna get eaten, huh? Yep, no, oh, they're nearby, that's fun. I guess they come out at night more than in the daytime. What is he making? Is he, oh, is he trying to repair her implant? Oh God, this movie is already so sad. Yo, you guys, like, I just wanna cry. Oh, they have so many cameras too to monitor what's going on outside. 
Oh, she has music. Oh, oh I want to cry every time I look at their faces. They just, ha oh, God. <laughs> They're both such good actors. <laughs> oh, you can like see the pain in John Krasinski's eyes. It's like killing me. <laughs> Lord almighty, man. This movie's got me emotional and nothing's even happened yet except for a little kid did die. Oh, sh She's getting so close to her due date. This is really bad. Like, I don't know what they're gonna do. Like, I'm so scared. Like, I can't imagine that there's a way that this baby will survive. And the only reason I know Emily Blunt will survive is that I've seen, because I've seen her on the second billboard. Oh, wow. The sound design for this movie is genius, too. I like the way that we're just shifting the perspective of how we're hearing so constantly, you know? Like, that was through her ears with the stethoscope and the heartbeat and, and then we like go to the daughter who's deaf and it's different for her like it's I just like that we're playing with that perspective a lot oh are there spots did they mark the spots that aren't, aren't creaky like she was avoiding the creaky floorboards was that it <laughs> Jesus Christ what what's down there oh he gave he made her a new hearing aid Oh, what's down there? Was it where he works with all the cameras and the equipment? Is he trying to shelter her from it? She's teaching him how to divide. You know, uh, if I ever have kids, I'm going to be useless in the math department. I suck at math. <laughs> Time to go. Wait, what? Please don't make me go. Where do they have to go? Oh! Does he have to learn like survival skills, like how to hunt and stuff? How do you hunt quietly, actually? How are they eating now that I'm thinking about it? She's worrying. I think she's worried too. Oh God, I just feel the pain for this family. Like, oh my God, where are they going? Oh my God. Oh God, I just feel like John is about to die on this mission because there's so much tension right now between his daughter and him and like this little boy doesn't want to go. I just feel like John Krasinski's going to die in this movie, y'all. Next time. I'm worried there won't be a next time because you just said next time. Oh God. Oh God. Slow down, girl. Oh yeah, you can't like make noise as an angsty teenager. <laughs> Is she looking at the nursery? Oh, the hearing aid. She's gonna try it. Oh. Nothing. Oh, oh, oh my God. She's trying to muffle her cries. It's like so painful to watch, man. Oh God, little girl. Oh my God, be careful. Oh, she's packing? Where's she gonna go? Oh God, she's having a, a teenage moment of wanting to run away. Where is she? Oh God, that sharp cut to the water scared me. Whoever did the sound design for this is a genius. Oh, he captures fish out here. You know, those would be the quietest things to catch. That makes sense, because the sound of the river will muffle it, too. Oh, he's terrified, he's terrified, he's terrified. He's trying to teach his son to be brave. Unless what? There's another sound nearby that's louder. Okay, yeah. Oh my god, he keeps telling him he's safe and I'm worried that his father's gonna like get killed on this trip. <laughs> cause, cause he keeps reiterating to him like, you're safe, I promise. I'm just like worried. Oh my god. She should not be doing this labor while she's this pregnant. Her daughter really should be doing it cause I, like, I'm freaked out that she has to carry this up the stairs. And like, what if she gets a contraction right now? Oh no, it's stuck, it's stuck, it's stuck. Don't pull, don't pull, don't pull. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, oh, you know what I bet's gonna happen? Someone's gonna step on that nail. Ooh! Wow, that is a bold move, John. That's a little bit too bold for me. I think just talk at a normal volume is enough. I don't think you have to hoot. Oh, see, just, it's so clever just to show it from the other angle where it really is muffled, you know? The execution of this is just genius. Where is this girl going? This is so bad. Is she, like, determined to make it out to the river or something? Like, I just, uh Why didn't you let her come? Do you blame her for what happened? Oh. Oh, did she go back to where it happened? Oh, my God. It was no one's fault. Oh my god, that toy survived even though he didn't. Interesting. He must have dropped it. 
What is she doing to it? I can't tell if she just set it off or if she just cut a wire so that it would blink, but there's no sound. Oh God, I'm scared. It got quiet. But I feel like something's about to happen. Jesus Christ. Oh, he is eating humans. What the f***? What is up with that old man? Oh my god, it's not quite a spider. It had a human looking head. Why did that man do that? Why did that man do that? I mean, I understand like he's been through some shit and he's probably not mentally okay. Oh no, are her contractions coming? They're totally coming, aren't they? They're totally coming. Oh, and her daughter is nowhere to be found. She, This woman has no help right now. That's great. Oh my God, does she have to go to the basement? Is she gonna step on the nail? I'm so freaking out right now. Honey, 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 be careful, honey. Oh, she's all alone. Oh, this music is so terrifying and I'm terrified she's about to step on a nail. I'm terrified that John Krasinski's gonna die. Oh, don't step on the nail, honey. <laughs> no. No, it's gonna hear her. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ew, 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 ew. Oh my god. No. What is this box supposed to do? Oh, she turns them to red to signal she. Oh, that's smart. The problem is her daughter's not. Oh, f Christ. F Christ, it heard the glass. F Christ, and her daughter's probably on her way home. This is so bad. This literally is horrible. Oh, the music is so good. This music is so intense. This beat, I love it and I hate it. What is that? Oh, she's gonna use it as a, a distraction. She's probably having another contraction. Oh, she's leaving blood everywhere. It's a really good thing these things can't see. Oh no, guys, oh no. No, 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 no. but the lights are red. No, no! Oh, John's gonna die. This is so bad, she shouldn't have changed the lights. You need, you guys need another light system for if there's a thing in the house when people are gone. You need another light system that says stay the f away for a little bit. This is so bad. This is so bad. Oh my God. This poor woman is going through so much right now. I wanna see what it looks like more. It looks like, kinda looks like a really up version of Scy Cypher? Scyther? What's the name of that Pokemon that's green with the pincer arms? It kind of looks like a f***ed up version of that. It clicks and clacks a lot like it's using echolocation. Oh, it's listening. Oh, she set a timer over there. Smart lady. There's another one? Oh my god, they've all been drawn to her house. John, don't go in there, John. Don't- I mean, I know you have to, but like, I need you to make a sound that's louder. Your mother, oh, 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 oh my God, this is like, this is horrible, oh, this is horrible. If she could have just not stepped on the nail, they'd be in a slightly better scenario. Oh, she's bleeding. Please tell me this baby's not gonna come really like irrationally fast. Like, please tell me this can be like a multiple hour labor because this woman cannot have a newborn coming out of her screaming right now. Oh, it's coming upstairs. Oh my God. What is the noise he's gonna make? Come on, little kid. Oh my God, I'm so scared right now. I wonder how smart these creatures are, you know? I'd be scared that they would come back. Oh, she's not in the tub anymore. Oh no, he probably thinks she's dead. Oh no, he, she's not dead. Oh no, he thinks she's dead. Oh, this poor man. Christ, Emily Blunt, did you have to do that to me? That was horrible. Oh, the baby came out. Holy f**k, the baby already came out. Wow, the baby came out so fast. I'm like, that was like a, a 30 minute delivery. Oh, this little kid. Oh, of course his flashlight's dying. That's fun. Oh, and he's running, which makes a lot of noise. Oh no, no, no. Where is he running to? Oh, he ran into a truck. Who's this? Is this the daughter? Oh, it's, oh no, it's John carrying her. Where is the, the baby's not crying yet? Oh baby, oh baby, baby. Oh baby, no. John, you don't have enough time. No. It's, t oh this, oh no. 
No! Oh my god, I hate this! They have to give the baby gas so that he stops crying. Oh my god, I know they want to protect this baby, but like this baby is like a hazard to have. I feel like this baby's gonna die. Oh, this is heartbreaking. Oh my god, this is so heartbreaking. Oh my god, this poor family. She can't even hear anything too. Her per <gasps> it's right behind her. Oh, she can't even hear. Oh, is the feedback messing with it? Oh, it doesn't like her feedback. Oh. Oh my god, the device that her dad made protected her. It's okay. It's okay. You're safe. They can't hear us. What? No, this is a dream. This is a dream. Oh no, it's not. It's not a dream. You just need to rest now. This doesn't seem real. I can't believe they're actually talking right now just because there's a mattress over. What are they gonna do with this baby, you guys? Like, babies cry for years until they realize that they can stop crying. He was so heavy, wasn't he? Are they talking about, oh, their other baby that died? Ah! And my hands were free. Oh. <laughs> it was Gary in the back, but my hands were free. You have to stop. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't. I'm so happy we're getting this scene where they can actually really, like, talk. And we can see, like, the full scope of their acting capabilities, you know? Promise me. You will protect him. Oh, he has no idea, but the device he made already saved his daughter. She doesn't even know that. <laughs> oh. oh my god, that was terrifying too. Oh, well, I'm glad they found each other at least. Oh, oh god. Oh, John. Oh, I just feel like John's gonna be killed or something. Because the family depends on him so much, you know, it would be like the ultimate tragedy. Wait, what's going on with the water? Oh, they're still lighting the fire. Look at these kids. Despite everything that's gone on, they're still lighting it. Honey, that's really dangerous. Be careful. When you pour gasoline onto a fire like that, the fire can actually go up the gasoline and in into your hands and explode the tube. Oh, they lit the fire to show their dad they were there. I see. This is so... God, oh my God. I'm so stressed out. Is there another one? kidding me? There's another one? It never left? This woman is going to get the gnarliest infection in her foot. Oh, that's horrifying. No. They swim? They don't look like they should be able to swim. I just, I'm sorry. I just don't feel like this baby should survive, y'all. It's already gonna start crying again. It's already. I'm dying. I'm dying. Oh my god. Oh, she's gonna hide behind a little waterfall. That's smart. No. Stay out. No. Baby, no. Oh my god, this poor family cannot catch a break, y'all. Everything is going wrong. Every- they just keep making noises all over the place. This is horrible. Oh no. He's in a grain mill. Oh my god, this is a horror in so many different definitions of the word. No! How are you gonna help him in there? She's gonna try to get the door to him. They're both trapped in there now, though. Oh no. It's like Titanic. It's like, get on the door. Oh my god. Okay, that's terrifying. Oh, this is so bad. This is so bad, y'all. Farming accidents are no joke. Tyler's dad has been a farmer, and like, some of the that can happen on a farm is like more horrifying than anything that can happen in the real world sometimes. Oh my god, this is so terrifying. Pull, little boy, pull. Good job, pull. The thing is, if this monster comes in here, it's probably gonna have a hard time not drowning too, you know? I think it's really interesting too that they chose to have the daughter be deaf when the creatures, one, operate based off of sound, but two, are also blind, you know? It's also just interesting. Oh, the feedback thing, the feedback thing, the feedback thing, ow! Oh God, I'm worried though that the creature's gonna find John though. How are they gonna get out of here though? Oh, it tore a hole in the side. That's good. Wow, so they don't like that radio frequency. Interesting. I wonder if you just blast that frequency all over the world, if they would just leave. You know? Like, how did they get here? How did these creatures get here? Are we gonna explore that? I'm curious. John, you gotta stop running. Stop running, stop running, stop running. Oh my God. Guys, be quiet. Oh my Jesus. 
Is it coming back? Does she see them on the cameras? Why do I feel like Emily? Somebody's gonna die. Ugh, this family. Can these creatures just leave and go to a different farm for five seconds? This is horrible. They can't catch a break. He's totally gonna die. Listen, just stick with your daughter. You guys don't know this, but the frequency thing will scare them away if you just stay together. Oh, he's gonna go... Is he gonna make a noise to distract them? John, I don't feel like it's necessary. John, you don't need to sacrifice yourself. Please don't. Little kid, no! No, girl, that was protecting you. Oh, it's like a metaphor because their dad is dead or hurt and she just turned off the thing right when her dad is down. Oh my God, no, turn the feedback thing back on! Oh no, he's gonna die, he's gonna die. He's gonna die. Oh my God, and she's watching him sacrifice himself. Oh, this is so sad. Oh no. Ah! Is he starting the car? Oh, he's, oh, he just put it into drive so it could move. Oh my God, this is so sad. Oh my God, and she watched on the cameras. I'm dying, I'm not okay. <laughs> oh God, this is horrible. Are you serious? They're still coming? This is f up. Give them a break. My God. These things never get full, huh? Oh, she's gonna see how hard he was working to help her and how much he loved her. Oh, this is so hard, y'all. Oh my God. The music is genius. It's just making me want to cry. Oh, it's here and this- you gave your son the baby. Oh my God. What's gonna happen right now? Is she gonna kill it? Oh my God, it's right there. The thing is, if you shoot it, won't the rest come? That's kind of horrifying, isn't it? Oh, the television static. Oh, it's picking up the static. What is the weakness? The weakness is the frequency. Is she realizing it? Honey, turn it on, yes! Like, look at the way it listens with its whole skull moving. Ew, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Is it gonna kill it this time? Oh, blast it into the microphone, yes. Yes, yes queen, yes queen! Oh, quick, hurry. <laughs> yes queen, yes! Ooh, it looks so disgusting. Did that really just kill it? Oh my God, did that kill it? Feedback kills it? Talk about a weakness, like. No, no, it just knocks it out. Oh, guns kill it, good. Okay, just, okay. <laughs> Feedback doesn't kill it, it just incapacitates it and guns kill it. What about, is there another one coming? Cause she shot it, are more coming? Oh no. Oh, that is the most horrifying thing you could see. Is it time to do the frequency thing again? Yeah. Oh my God, this is so suspenseful. Oh, wow. Oh my God, I love this movie. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I think the only other horror movie that I've liked as much as this one is Alien. So I guess aliens are just the magic ingredient for me. Oh my God. I guess, I guess we don't know if they're aliens or monsters because when you read the log line, it says in a post-apocalyptic world, a family is forced to live in silence while hiding from monsters with ultra sensitive hearing. So who really knows where they came from? They might not be aliens. They could just be monsters, but I... I would like to learn more about them. I actually really want to watch the sequel to this now because I really liked this. <laughs> Directed by John Krasinski, I knew that. Written by Brian Woods, Scott Beck, and John Krasinski. Composer, Marco Beltrami. Who did the sound design though? Like, oh my God. Erica Dahl. Uh, well, like, I just gotta say, this was incredible. <laughs> was this at Sundance? This was at Sundance, wasn't it? I felt like it was at Sundance or south by or something it did it won south by southwest it won the audience award okay that makes sense i i could have sworn i remember hearing it had buzz at one of the festivals this was incredible so heart-wrenching so sad the music was just perfect <laughs> i love it when music for a movie is like so good and carries your emotions and this 
this movie, this music carried my emotions. It completely manipulated me, but in the best way possible. Also, the cast was just stellar. I mean, I already loved John Krasinski and Emily Blunt, but getting to watch them in a movie like this, I mean, they're just, you could just see the pain behind their eyes and everything they did and how strong they were trying to be. And it's just so brilliant. I love movies like this where you have to see actors work in completely different ways. Like a lot of their acting had to be physical. They could, you know, they weren't speaking a lot. They did have some sign language, but it was mostly just acting with their bodies and their faces and not really being able to convey much else. So brilliant job um, by everybody in this movie. My God, my heart just broke for everyone. And I love the ending too. Like it had this little cliffhanger yet badass ending where you want to see more of this family and you want to learn more about these creatures and this world. But you also, it's this ending where their father's sacrifice meant something because he was able to provide this weapon for them and um they figured it out in time to protect themselves it was just such an awesome ending and even even the sound design in that moment was just so brilliant the way it was building and building and building and getting louder and more ominous as the creatures are running towards the house and then it just ends with her clicking the shotgun it's just so brilliant i love it normally i don't like horror movies but I feel like all the jump scares in this one were so well done that I didn't mind them like none of the jump scares felt gratuitous some of them I could see coming but I think most of them really caught me by surprise and you know just moments where we would be in the daughter's head and her head is silent and then you you know John Krasinski would grab her like moments like that really scared me but you didn't see coming yeah I really I normally hate scary movies but this was just so well done and it was so emotional and I could see why it did so well and why it gripped a lot of people because I mean Emily Emily and John just did such great jobs with their performances that you just could feel their pain and the kids pain you could feel as well and it just made you empathize so quickly so early on with this family that you were just so invested in them immediately one thing I will say that I was a little confused by is is the scene with the man who screamed in the woods, the crazy man that they stumbled upon who'd killed the people he was with and and then he screamed. That kind of confused me because I don't know why he screamed. However, I guess one could just argue that he'd lost his mind um, because I could imagine in a world like this how easy it would be to just completely lose it and completely lose touch with reality and not even care who you're hurting anymore. I I could understand how there would be people like that. So in a way I can justify it. But if I had one issue with the film, I think it would be that scene because it just didn't quite make sense to me. I'm almost wondering if there was more to that scene or maybe another scene with that man that we're just not seeing because sometimes that kind of stuff gets cut in production and post. So I'm wondering if they wanted to tighten up the film and make it shorter and then cut something out that might have explained that more because that did feel a little bit out of left field for me. It just kind of felt like they put it in there for shock value and for an extra scare, but I didn't really understand it. But the rest of the movie was, I think, flawless, in my opinion. I really liked it. I don't know what this family is going to do with this baby, though. That's one thing I have to say. Like, I don't know what they're going to do with the baby. I guess maybe their tactic will just be, like, collecting shotguns and having that high-frequency thing with them at all times. They really need to find a silencer. That would be really ideal. (laughs) Yeah, the editing for this was brilliant, too. I just really liked so much about the way this movie was made, and I really think John Krasinski did a great job with the direction of it. So beautiful. I feel like I've never cried more, either, during a horror movie, because this isn't really just a horror movie. It's definitely a drama as well, and definitely really suspenseful. Um, I think it's probably more suspenseful than horrific, actually, because there were moments that were really terrifying and horrific, But I think for the most part, it probably falls more under suspense and drama. I really enjoyed it, and it it definitely makes me want to watch the second one, I gotta say. But I probably won't watch the second one for Nightmare season because I kind of want to do a more, a a bunch of different kind of films. So I may end up just like watching the sequel later, either this year or early into the new year, because I am really curious about it now, especially because I saw a billboard for it outside of my neighborhood for like literal months. It was, it was up for so long because I think I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it came out like around the pandemic. And so that billboard stayed the same for like literally so long. It just was advertising for A Quiet Place too. 
And because I liked this, I am definitely curious about the next one. Although I'll be sad that there will be no John Krasinski in that one. I do love him. Thank you for this suggestion, guys. I definitely appreciated it. And I really liked this movie, which is not something I expected to say when I sat down to watch it. I expected to hate it and be really uncomfortable and scared the whole time. And I was scared, but I really liked it. So I appreciate this suggestion. And until next time, that's all I have for you in this one. So if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps me out and it lets me know that you guys want to see more stuff like this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to watch next and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.